Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Sephonics channel. Before we start the video, make sure you click the little bell next to the subscribe button so you can get notified whenever I upload a video. And um, today we are building the Leo flight unit type. It's a pretty late, it's a pretty late video, I know. But um, anyway, I got it. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, you know, just premium band, I think. There's no, you know, box. There's no actual box art because, you know, I, I really need to complain that the lack of box art on premium band is because, let's be honest, even the regular release do better than you. Okay, anyway, so, you know, when I bought this gunpla, there's a little story is I kind of regret because uh, once I bought this gunpla, the Leo full weapon, full weapon kit has been released and <laughs> man, I just, you know, punch myself in the chest and tell myself, why do I need to buy this? Because honestly, that Leo uh, full weapon set is uh, giving you every variation that you can create. So... Anyway, so we're just gonna um, we're just gonna uh, take out the runners first and take a look. So we're gonna start looking at the uh, actual runners. I mean, we'll start with the manual first, the instruction manual. So basically, you can see this. Uh, this printer that is pretty good. They don't waste parts. So I hope it's not like the Gabby has a Saku that uh, duplicates so many parts. So we're just gonna quickly flick through this. It's basically just a re uh the it's just a little remodel of the uh, regular release Leo's instruction menu and we can see that there's uh, a bit of new weapons and we have the new backpack as well and yada 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 and there's even shoulder cannons. Oh wow, okay. Then I didn't see that coming. I, I thought Oh, I never saw that picture. What? Uh, I I might forget. I might forget it when I saw it. So, first, uh, we have two polycaps, which is all ball joints, and then we have the beam saber effect parts, and then we have uh, two G four runners. They both are the flight pack uh, unit runners. And then next up, we have the F two runner. We have the Doba gun, the bazooka, the a new shoulder cannon and then yada 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 um yeah this basically is the new weapon set for the leo and uh okay so next up we have a b runner so the b runner is the we can see that this huge ball joint is definitely the shoulders and then and then we have this feet part right here and then we have uh legs part right here feet part here again and that's basically in the frame of the Leo. We have a G2 runner, it's the flight backpack. And then we have the shoulder cannons right here. We have the G3 runner, there's two parts here. So this is the wings on the flight pack and I don't know which part. Oh, this is a shoulder cannon. A runner, uh, we have a shield, torso, uh, waist, legs 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 uh waist and uh, arms part right here and then we have the shoulder parts we have the uh, one small piece on the backpack and i believe this is the head i think this is the head part i'm not really sure though uh this is the connector for the shield i think and we have lastly we have a c runner so the c runner it's a moldy color one. I feel like this is that you know. I feel like that this looks like the traditional A runner, although it says C runner. It looks more like a traditional A runner because you know traditional A runners they have like different colors. So we have the camera for the eye. We have thrusters. We have backpack, backpack. Uh, this is feet, feet part. This is the I don't know. Oh, this is the uh magazine. This is the magazine and um. Scope, we have, well, I don't know what's this. It's waist? Oh, it's probably a waist here. And then we have the normal machine gun for the Leo. And other than that, we have some parts here for the joints. And uh, that's pretty much the runner review. So uh, we're just gonna go into the building process.
guys, welcome back to a review of the Leo flight type. So this is the finishing of it. Uh, I like this color better, honestly, to say that. I don't really like the green color that the original Leo have. So I kind of like this color. And the space type, um, the purple is not really that good. But this one, I pretty like the color about this one. So, um, you know, because it share the same mold as the regular release Leo or the Leo space type as a premium Bandai. So I would say that if you if you feel like there's a problem on the Leo kit, then this kit will contain the same problem, such as the angle armor is very easy to pop out, uh, etc. Like that. <laughs> so here's the thing. As I said, um, I I actually pretty regret when I bought this Leo flight type because you know, you know, lot like when I bought this combo, and then you know, a couple couple days later, it announced that. Um, the full weapon set is releasing and I just feel like ah oh, gosh I should wait but it's fine we'll, we'll just get we'll just deal with it but uh, I want to see though I don't know is it my Leo problem or is it uh, like everybody's Leo problem the ball joint on the way seems pretty easy to pop out and I don't really like it but uh, okay so you know let's just start a review first so first we're gonna look at the head the head is not movable because you know the leo is a fixed head and you don't really get anything to you know having a little bit of movements the chest though you might think that it, uh, it looks pretty similar to the tall geese yes as i said in the leo space type review uh leo is actually based on the tall geese and it's just a mass production version of Torgis and you know <laughs> so that's why it shares some design of the Torgis so as you can see the waist the, to the torso here uh, it can move uh, 360 because there's no backpack on it right now so there's no interruption and you know turning to the back the backpack spot if you don't take it off right now if you take this piece off there will be a plug so you can put on the flight pack but uh, if there's nothing to put on then it just basically look like this so it kind of reminds you of the Torgi's design as I said now we're gonna look at the hands so the arms I mean the arms is a ball joint and it's very easy to pop out once you over twist it it will pop out this individual piece of armor is movable and then the uh, the hand, uh, the arm bending angle is pretty good as well hands are rotating uh, upper arm is uh, rotated it uh, can be rotate adjust as well the whole arm can move 360 because there's not right now there's no flight pack interrupting it so that's why it can move freely so now we're gonna look at the waist uh, but I don't know why before I move on the review I'm gonna say that I don't know is it my Leo problem or like everyone else's the legs the uh, the joint on the leg the joint of the legs it seems a little bit sloppy I don't know is it my problem or not but the front skirt armor you can move it but it's but the front skirt armor is very hard to rotate and I honestly don't like to move it so oops now the ball joint just you know flew uh, flew out so I would just say that there's definitely some problem about the joints connection and then you know legs able to kick to the side uh, able to bend a lot uh, it, it, the articulation is overall very good uh, top of the legs can move a little bit the ankle armor here is a ball joint and as I mentioned at the start of the review, it's very easy to pop out. The legs here uh, is movable and it's a ball joint so it's very easy to pop out as well. Basically, this mobile suit, uh, the whole thing, the joint is just ball joint so that's why it's very easy to pop out. And uh, the waist part here, there's some, there's not really much movement on the side skirt. Uh, on the back skirt as well, there's no, there's not much movement on the back skirt. So the back skirt, you only have two thrusters here. That's pretty much it. Uh, I would say that I don't know why, but my Leo seems like very sloppy for some reason, and it's just starting to fall apart for some reason. So before we move on to the backpack and the new additional accessory for the Leo, so I'll just introduce some weapons first. So first overall, we have a newly molded bazooka. There's no articulation, nothing on it, no color separation. It's just a bazooka and that's pretty much it. And then next up, we have a very ordinary uh, Leo machine gun. So it's been it's been included in all the exclusive version of the Leo and also the regular release so there's not much to look at but there's one thing is it's like kind of like an RG-ish type of design where you can take the whole uh, magazine off and then you know clip it back on again so I'll just give you a little bit of credit about the weapons 
And then next up, we have the shield. So the shield inside the shield is contain two beam sabers that you can pull out and make poses. Uh, beam saber effect part is be followed on uh, in the kit. So, you know, it's just a very basic Leo type of weapon. And to put this on is actually pretty simple. You just have to uh, remove one of the one of the um, you know shoulder shoulder armor and then you know just clip this back on but you know to make it easy I'll just pull the one one of the arms out and then just pull just put it on like this because honestly with the Leo's legs is shaking and it's very hard for me to target so basically this is what it looks like when you equipped it on the well, on the shoulder so here you go and all the so an original leo can be assembled and as i said because there's so many ball joint being used on this model and it kind of makes the model stability is a little bit of questionable but it's pretty fine and next up we have the last thing so you know Torgi's got a doba gun so we will we're, we'll, so this kid obviously got a doba gun as well so we just need to remove this piece of <laughs> armor on the shoulders away so we just have to remove this temporary and then now we're gonna equip this new um, piece right here so you know very similar to the sh uh, shield you just have to find the we just have to find a joint and then pinpoint it on it so now it, so now this is the dobagon uh, the dobagon's holder and then now this is the actual double gun this is not an rg so don't expect there's going to be like um a uh, extended barrier or something like that so the sh the handles on it is actually movable and to equip on it because i already equipped the holder so basically you just have to find the ball joint and then just put the double gun on it and now there you go a dover the double gun has been on the leo so next up i'm gonna introduce one of the new accessory in this kit so it's this shoulder cannon right here right now i already equipped one on the right shoulders but during the difficulty when you try to uh you know equip this shoulder so i'll just skip the process so basically just need to switch this gray piece over here to replace the shield currently on the kit and then you just have to push the cannon on it and there's a little bit of painting problem i accidentally kind of um you know didn't do a good enough job when i try to tape when i try to tape around the cannon and now there's a little bit of flaw there's a little bit of black color been spilled out so i think you know i'll just not show hazing on this one but this is what you buy this kit for so this is the flight armor so the flight armor there's not really much special about it it's just a very typical you know gliding wings and the top of the the top of the joint is actually movable both of the wings can move uh, 90 degrees so it's pretty good so to install the backpack is actually pretty simple you just have to pull the back uh, this, this little piece out on the backpack and then you know you just have to pluck that and then you just need to pluck the wings in and there you go so now you have a leo fly type with a bunch of weapon mixed together because i forgot to take it off but uh in order to complete the whole process we need to remove this uh the little cap on the side of the legs so as you can see there's a bit of the cap on the side of the legs so rem so we're just gonna remove it but please be careful when you try to store it because you don't want to lose this little piece of uh little piece of uh uh, parts so what we have to do now what is going on why is not working now we can see that both of the thrusters being put onto the legs and this is pretty much how you equip the flight armor top i know it looks a bit weird now because i have shoulder cannons shield backpack and then you know the booster down below on it so it looks a bit bad but my overall you know my overall opinion about this is way too sloppy on the joints as i said in the leo space type video and you know the accessory is fun but the problem about the part falling off to get falling off is actually a huge problem and i really don't like it and i wish they fixed it but you know it's an xg i can't ask for too much so the stability is definitely questionable and uh, but the accessory the overall finish uh, the color separation man it's perfect not a single sticker being used in this uh on this gunpla and i think that i bet i did a good job about the color separation but just the, the stability is a little bit questionable thank you guys for watching this is the end of the review um <clears throat> honestly to say though leo is a very cool um mobile suit and i need to say that all type of variation is very 
um, good design and is actually looking pretty good I must say that but here's the thing the Gumper performance stability is very questionable and you know although it has such uh, a very above average uh, articulation all kinds of accessory you can pose freely uh, color separation looks absolutely good absolutely perfect you don't need to use sticker or anything like that but here's the thing the stability of the Gamma is actually pretty crap and it kind of destroyed the whole uh, the whole general performance for the Gamma and I wish the stability would be better so that's pretty much it so uh, thank you guys for watching please subscribe to my channel and like leave a comment and like to my videos and I'll see you guys in another Gamma review Goodbye.